Hello, everyone. 안녕하세요, 여러분. For this class, we will learn some expressions that we can actually use in our daily lives. And we can also learn some idiomatic expressions in Korean. And every class will have one topic and we will learn some couple of, a couple of expressions that is related to the topics. So first class, the topic is meeting, 만남. So, 처음 뵙겠습니다. 잘 부탁합니다. 처음 뵙겠습니다. Oh, this is the expression that you can use when you meet someone for the first time. So, 처음 뵙겠습니다. If I uh, directly translate it, it means it's my first time to see you. It's my first time to meet you. But it means, how do you do? And 잘 부탁합니다 is an expression uh, that is very commonly used in our language. So it, if I directly translate it, it means I ask you to do me a favor. But it actually means that I hope we will have good relationship in the future. So please keep in mind, and you can also say when you meet for um, when you meet someone for the first time, 처음 뵙겠습니다. 저는 웃음이라고 합니다. You can omit 저는, so just say. 웃음이라고 합니다. Or 웃음이 입니다. And for 잘 부탁합니다. You can say 잘 부탁드립니다. Too. So let's practice. 처음 뵙겠습니다. 웃음이 입니다. 잘 부탁드립니다. And um, you know, the, the answer should be uh, 네, 만나서 반갑습니다. Yes, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And second one, 요즘 어떻게 지내세요? This is the same expression with how are you? How are you doing today? How are you doing these days? So, you can say 어떻게 지내세요? 잘 지냈어요? If, if for your friends, you would say 잘 지내? 어떻게 지내? Things like this. And if we practice, um, 안녕하세요. 요즘 잘 지냈어요? Hello, how are you doing? How are you doing these days? 네, 덕분에요. So 덕분에요, it actually means thanks to you. So even though the other person did not do anything for you, you can just say 덕분에요. This is the way of being polite. 네, 덕분에요. Yeah, I'm doing great thanks to you. 현주 씨는 어때요? What about you, 현주? 현주, what about you? 어떤 일을 하시나요? This is a question, this is the expression when you, you can use when you ask for someone's job, uh, ask their occupation. 어떤 일을 하시나요? What do you do for a living? Or you can also say, 무슨 일을 하시나요? Or you can just simply say, 직업이 뭐예요? 승우 씨 아버지는 어떤 일을 하시나요? 승우, what does your father do for a living? 승우, what's your father's job? 저희 아버지는 은행원이세요. My father is a banker. 뭐뭐이세요. So you put a name of the occupation, name of the profession, and 이세요 or 이에요. 저희 아버지는 은행원이세요. 저희 아버지는 은행원이에요. Or uh, 저희 아버지는 교사세요. 저희 아버지는 공무원이세요. And the first one. 민수 씨, 이쪽은 제 친구 김서영이에요. 민수, this is my friend uh, 김서영. So this is the expression you use for when you introduce someone to someone else. This, uh, 민수, this is my friend 김서영. So instead of 이쪽은, you would say 이 사람은, 이분은. For 이분은, you can use this only when you introduce someone that is older than you or someone um who is in the higher position than you. 이쪽은, 이 사람은, 이분은 제 blah blah in 누구입니다, 누구이에요. So, it's, uh, 제 뭐뭐 in. So, in is actually same with the comma in English sentence. So, 제 친구인 누구입니다. 제 남편인 누구입니다. 제 선생님인 누구입니다. Or, 뭐뭐 누구라고 합니다. 사장님, 이쪽은 제 남편인 이재민이에요. Sir, this is my husband, 이재민. 이쪽은 제 남편인 이재민이라고 합니다. 반갑습니다. Nice to meet you. 이야기 많이 들었습니다. 이야기 많이 들었습니다 means I heard a lot about you. And this is the another expression that you can use to be polite. Even though you did not heard, you haven't heard about him a lot, you can you can still say 이야기 많이 들었습니다. This is the way of being polite. And the last one, 
현빈 씨는 지금 학생인가요? 현빈, are you a student now? 현빈, are you still a student? So this is an expression that you can use for someone's state if, if they are still a student or if they are, um, they are working for a company. 누구 씨는? You can omit 뭐뭐 씨는? 현빈 씨는 지금 뭐뭐인가요? Or 지금 러블락이에요? So 현빈 씨는 지금 학생인가요? 현빈 씨는 지금 학생이세요? So if you are still a student, you would say 네, 지금 대학교 4학년이에요. Yes, I'm a fourth grade in the university. I'm a fourth grade in the university. And if you, are, if you graduated already, you would say 아니요. 작년에 졸업하고 지금은 회사 다니고 있어요. No, I graduated last year and I'm working for a company now. So those are the expressions we learned for um, uh, we learned for today. The topic was meeting. So please keep them in mind and you can use this expression when you meet someone. Thank you.